If you watch the Smart Focus and Zoom and Pan tutorial, you've already seen how visual properties can scale the video to zoom in on a specific area. This tutorial explores the visual properties a little more and helps you use your own creativity to make your videos more engaging. In the previous video of this Getting Started series, we looked at adding callouts to help direct viewers' attention. We added two callouts, one pointing to the notepad document and another arrow pointing to the calculator. Let's look at one example of how using visual properties can eliminate one of these callouts and create a cool animated way to engage viewers. First, let's select and delete this second arrow callout, since we'll only need one for this example. Next, select this arrow callout and make sure to position the playhead somewhere in the middle so it appears on the canvas. This next step is pretty important and often the cause of animations that don't work correctly. Before adding an animation, choose a starting point for the arrow. I'm going to drag it outside of the viewing area on the canvas to start. Now with the callout selected on the timeline, select the Visual Properties tab and then click the Add Animation button. You'll see the visual animation appear below the callout on the timeline, right under the playhead. If that's not where you want the animation to happen, you can always just drag it to a new location. Now if you scrub the playhead over this animation, nothing appears to happen. So, make sure that you position the playhead after the animation dot, or on it by double clicking it, and then go ahead and drag the callout to the canvas so that it's pointing to the notepad document. As you are dragging the arrow on the canvas, you'll see the animation enlarge to show that you are editing the position of this media. To test out the changes that we made, position the playhead before the callout and play back the video. Pretty cool, right? Now, it gets even cooler. Since we deleted the second callout earlier, I'm going to extend the duration of this callout on the timeline past the audio that mentions the calculator. I'll then position the playhead at the start of this new audio and add a new animation. Drag to adjust the position of the animation on the timeline as needed. Double click the animation to make sure that the playhead is at that location on the timeline. Next, rotate the arrow callout on the canvas and position it so it's pointing to the calculator. Position the playhead before the callout on the timeline and play back the video to see the animation effects. This example just focused on callouts, but any media that is present on the timeline can have visual animations added to it. Try it with your webcam video, or have multiple video clips playing side by side. The ideas are pretty much endless, and all it requires is a little bit of creativity. The final video in this series covers how to produce and share your final video. And if you have any feedback on the Visual Properties tutorial, please follow this link.